everyone, Baker on the Dark Side. It's lunchtime again, and finding something new to eat and drink. Actually, I got a drink and and a snack bar. Um, so this is really good. It's um, it's polar seltzer. Uh, has no calories. It's just um, cherry limeade. It's very good. So if you want something with a little cherry flavor, um, this one is very good. Um, so, <clears throat> my new treat to try is, um, Kind Zero Dark Chocolate Nut and Sea Salt Bar. So, what does it tote? Let's see, it says zero added sugars right at the top. Uh, keto friendly for my keto friends out there. Um, only one total gram of sugar, four net carbs, five grams of protein. So, on the back... It also says it's gluten-free. That's nice for my gluten-free friends. No sugar alcohols, that's nice. Low sodium, you know I love that. Zero trans fats. High in fiber, 13 grams of fiber. Uh, so, 14 total carbs. It says seven dietary fiber, three allulose sugars, which is also my favorite sweetener. Uh, four net carbs, okay. Ingredients. So obviously it has nuts in it. People with nut allergies are not gonna eat this. So the first and main ingredient is almonds, peanuts, tapioca fiber, allulose, palm kernel oil, not my fave oil, but okay. Brown rice, chicory root fiber, cocoa powder, unsweetened chocolate, sea salt, peanut butter, and natural soy lectin. And like I said, it contains the nuts. So the stats, this is one bar, one serving, 150 calories, so that's nice. Uh, 13 grams of fat, only three saturated fat, so a little bit. No trans fats though, polyunsaturated fat, three grams. Mono uh, unsaturated fats are six grams. Those are okay, those are the good fats, as far as I know. Uh, trans fats, zero, okay. Cholesterol, zero, that's nice. The sodium is only 75 milligrams, that's really low. Um, we went through the carbs as 14. The fiber, um, it says seven grams of fiber here. Interesting. Huh. Um, it said 13 grams of fiber. High in fiber, 13 grams of fat per bar. Okay. I misread that. Uh, so it is 13 grams of fat, seven grams of fiber, still a lot of fiber. Total sugars, one gram, as I said, protein, only there's five grams. Uh, so that's a little bit of protein. So it's not a high protein bar, which maybe it'll probably taste good. All right, it's hard to find a good protein bar. All right, but I like the fact that this would be, if your kids could eat nuts in there and they like them, this would be a really good bar for your children. All right, so this is what it looks like. The sides looks really good, really chunky. does have the coating or chocolate on the bottom. Okay, I break it in half. So it's very like, it is a little chewy. Okay, not overly chewy. Mm. Very chewy. Lots of nuts. It's good though. It's like it's like a chocolate covered nut. A little bit of bulkiness to it. Some crispies. Yeah, that's what it looks like in the middle. It's not bad. Yeah, I'll buy this again. Yeah, that's definitely better than a candy bar by far. Yeah, try this one. Very good. It was reasonably priced. Comes in a box, just like the other bars. Uh, I believe it was six ninety nine, um, but it was on sale. I think it's normally like eight ninety nine, and you get uh, five bars. But yeah, very good. Hey, Baker on the dark side. Trying things so you don't have to. And I would try this one if I was you.